Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. We return boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Today, we have news and a brand new update, 1.1.6. That brings with it nothing. Again, dude, they really, they, they gotta bring something, but hey, something will be coming, no worries. So 1.1.6 did come out to just kind of do some general gameplay and bug fixes, but even better than that, something big came out that they released, and that thing is right here. Hello, Hunters! Every day we're getting a lot of questions about the upcoming updates. We truly appreciate your curiosity and strong interest in new implements in Jurassic Survival. We literally can't wait to let you in on some details of the update, the release of which is just around the corner. Of course, we are not going to reveal all all the results of our hard work but we can tell right away there is a lot of interesting stuff ahead the upcoming update of Jurassic Survival will certainly be the largest and most significant in the history of the project players will see a wide range of content including a new location haunted by murderous creatures further we decided to dilute the familiar atmosphere of surviving in jungles with a bit of survival horror having put hunters lives and unknown danger apart from the new location its deadly inhabitants there will be new mechanics intended to make the update more diverse and lastly some surprises that we have already started sharing with our community be sure there's so much to look forward to thank you for your stoic patience and waiting stay tuned and get ready to new battles in unexplored territory so a lot of information in this release and what it does say so let's just go ahead and start from the top they have said that this is going to be the biggest and most significant update in the history of the project pretty much confirming that this is going to be update 1.2.0 because if it's bigger than update 1.1 why would they make that 1.1.7 no this is going to be update 1.2 and it is going to be freaking massive boys and girls in terms of what it will see they said that it's going to be a wide range of content but mainly one single new location they said a new location maybe more haunted by murderous creatures and then they're kind of saying that they're kind of doing some kind of survival horror type of vibe with uh not the familiar atmosphere of surviving in jungles you know so i don't know if that means that it's going to be a different area if it's not going to be jungle oriented or if it means that uh, instead of surviving in a jungle it's going to be kind of a little bit spooky you're kind of going to be that survival horror essence in the jungle having to put these hunters lives in danger now what could that mean honestly there are a couple of big ticket items the big kind of elephant in the room is the wall and what lies on the other side obviously this is always a candidate for what could be coming and potentially maybe it's, maybe that maybe there's not jungle on the other side maybe whatever this hurricane storm is maybe it's masking something even spookier because if you do take a peek like you know the the more northeast you get it kind of gets all like deserty and less jungly you know what i mean so definitely solid chance that that new location could be up here to the northeast i don't think that it's going to be over here because they did say it's not at least if it's not indeed not jungle oriented I don't think it's going to be around here and they did say that it is going to focus around that survival horror aspect and kind of adding in kind of new gameplay mechanics which is very interesting but they also said haunted by murderous creatures they never said dinosaurs which is also a little bit spooky and makes me wonder if maybe that has something to do with the scientist that they have been teasing so if you guys watched the last Jurassic Spiral video uh there was a little teaser that they posted that had this like hidden scientist right that was like absolutely just murdered bloody with like a hazmat suit that was like broken in what if there's a scientist because potentially they were experimenting with the dinosaurs maybe they captured dinosaurs started experimenting and during their experiments they got out of control right and then maybe that's what those murderous creatures are maybe they're like mutated dinosaurs that's maybe why they didn't quite call them dinosaurs because they're these like weird things and where could these science experiments have been happening i mean past the walls of possibility or maybe we will get access within the wall you know maybe like up at the top maybe there will be like some kind of things in the wall maybe like some sort of i don't know different rooms in the wall like is the wall just empty or hollow we don't know we could definitely see but i think that that scientist hunter percent it does have something to do with this especially because they said uh what should call uh i think a little bit later on they said some surprises that we already started sharing with our community uh they did also post i think like a gif of like someone dancing so maybe new emotes maybe the ability to dance or something i guess that's kind of cool but i think that means uh it's leaning more towards the scientist than that kind of that thing that i was just talking about 
but uh, back into that, like they did say with those new mechanics, that's going to be pretty interesting because Jurassic Survival has been really good with kind of differentiating itself from Last Day on Earth because they added in like a lot more focus on stealth mechanics, the stealth meter above, battle royale, like Jurassic Survival is very much so on the cutting edge of adding in new mechanics, I would say, ever since its release. So I'm very excited to see what p potential new mechanic there could be, probably has something to do with the survival horror aspect of whatever this is is going to be in that scientist and stuff but uh, then again later they do say apart from new locations daily inhabitants there'll be new mechanics inside to make it more diverse and then the surprises that we already started sharing and that right about does wrap it up except for that little line at the end stay tuned and get ready to new battles and unexplored territory and i don't know man nothing looks more unexplored than the cloudiness of the unknown past the wall know what i'm saying I don't know, man. This seems like the biggest unknown out there. Freaking this hurricane, whatever the hell that might be. Very excited to see what might come with that. But with that said, with that done, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for our talk of update 1.2 and what it will contain. As you guys can see from our inventory, we are more than prepared, more than ready to head on over, not to the Palm Jungle, please no, to head on over to Gate 3 and knock out some more repairs on the wall, especially to prepare for this update because there's a solid chance that this update could very well be it. Because think about it, update 1.1 introduced the wall. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure update 1.1 introduced the wall. So, I mean, it makes sense that update 1.2 progresses and builds on the wall even more. And we pretty much have the ability to do everything. We have the rapeseed. All that we need is some way to refine it. And maybe the refining it will have something to do with this new location that we have to go to. The scientists and ultimately the ability to maybe go past the wall or at least climb up to the top of it, you know? something along those lines but i would love to hear what you guys gotta say in that comment section down below regarding your own thoughts your thoughts on my thoughts your own original thoughts any of that jazz because you guys are always smack on fan freaking tastic when it comes to the ideas that y'all have to share and jazz like that so i am really looking forward to what you do I have to say regarding that and i'm really looking forward to this update they said it's right around the corner so hopefully we'll get it within the next week hopefully it happens before midterms hit next week so i can cover the bejesus out of it because it has got me so 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 excited and i can't wait to see but another thing that we have to do is like i said prepare for this wall and then probably head on over to the battle royale arena to knock out some things with that as well so a lot of things to do today boys and girls but i wanted to also give this these guys some weapons potentially because uh here's my game plan well mm, here's the thing their weapons are about to break i don't know if i want to give them guns i i am kind of tempted i think i'm just gonna give them really good melee weapons like the electric shocker you know weapons that i maybe usually wouldn't give them for example definitely not from my weapon stockpile though but uh let's definitely give these dudes a couple of electric shockers here that they can then use instead of the slicer to hopefully let them do some nice damage uh we are also in the middle of hunter kane's quest if you guys do recall we gotta kill 10 more dillos hopefully that'll happen today but with that said with that done and with the complete lack of a shirt i'd say we're looking pretty good uh here's my game plan why i brought all this random stuff pretty much in between waves what i'm gonna do is hopefully swap in new guns that type of jazz hopefully these guys don't do too much damage to me here uh the first waves are usually on the easier side so hopefully the armor we have and the, the tommy gun we do have equipped will be enough to get us through this but uh really quickly what i would like to do here is just kind of like a quick reorganization some of these guns are definitely poopy maybe in case things get hectic things get a little bit crazy why don't we have a backup gun here in the form of a shotgun a little bit of shotgun range is always a great insurance policy uh, so we can have that to switch to if it need to be but like i said all of these things are repaired we got some rape seed at home dude i'm so excited to hopefully refine that stuff and finally climb this elevator but first we do need to make some more very important progress we are 30 percent of the way away only uh, after this 20 percent to go if we succeed if we fail though we will lose some of these valuables that we're holding on to which would be rather poopy so let's hope for the best let's hope fortune is on our side get to repair and then let's get to murdering boys and girls i'm not even waiting this time i'm going straight to shooting these guys as soon as possible not going to try to play any games 
Nothing like that. Well, I mean, besides Jurassic Survival, that's the game we're playing. But I'm going to try to do as much damage as can be. There we go. Oh, mama. This is going bad. This is going bad. Let's just... Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely a little bit too much. Okay, we might want to... Uh, oh, equip the Uzi real quick. Ah, it's not going good. Not going good. Oh, you boys got to do some... Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like that, dude. When these guys do their, like, range attacks... Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's go. We need some shotgun rain. This wave's a little bit more hectic than I expected. Shotgun rain to you, my good sir. Shotgun rain. Ankles. Shotgun rain to you. Shotgun rain before you manage to hit me. And holy hell, I forgot just how hectic this is going to be. Let's switch on over to the up. Try to do some damage with this. Just quick scope some noobs. Boop. Uh, boop. Boop. I love this dude. One hitter quitter all the way around. Should be a really good Dillo hunting weapon too. Honestly, yeah. We should have been using these snipers from the start. TBH. Boop. Boop. Oh no, no boops on him. No boops on him. Those are that's gonna be some harder boops that we gotta do. No, just no one shot, one kill, baby. No, no, no. Oh, all right, Peter, the weapon. Let's. Uh, oh no, 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 no. I kind of want to go to the car really quickly. This thing also. Oh no, we became naked. This is where things get a little bit worse. This thing also is a hundred damage. Just doesn't reload as fast. Got to keep that in mind. Hopefully we find some clothes. Ooh, speaking of clothes, uh, equip those puppies for a little while. I think we're about halfway done. So taking these guys. Out. There you go. You guys can take out the Orniolis. I, I believe in your ability to take those out. A little bit over halfway. Still doing good on the weapon stockpile. We'd also have the sawn off to kill some bosses, potentially. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, let's uh, equip that sawn off really quickly. Whoop, 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 whoop. Shotgun rain to you. Whoop. No, no. Uh, uh, oh, shotgun rain to the Yankee. Ah, shotgun rain to you. Can you guys please take out some of these guys now? I'm getting really close. Down to him. That weapon's broken, and we got an Ornioli left. Let's heal up really quickly. On to the next one. We'll go to the car. Then we got the pistol. Might not even go to the pistol, though, because that one is really, really close to being completely useless. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Goodbye, Dillos. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not going good. Definitely healed a little bit too early. It's shotgun raid time. Oh, hopefully we can yeet some of these Dillo kills, because I really need these Dillo kills for this freaking quest, because I like quests. Quests are cool, my dude. Nothing like the 70 damage that we're doing. I'm just trying to keep my distance with this guy. Because, uh, there we go. Oh, shotgun rain. We're up to 26. The good stuff. But, uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep my distance just because they could spit at any moment. You know what I mean? Boop. Goodbye to you. Oh, mama, we got a uh, uh, shotgun rain to him. Let's uh, weaken up some of the bigger guys. I trust in their ability to use these shockers to clean up on the rest. We're still doing really good in terms of health. Come on, just finish him. Good stuff with the electric shockers. And then we got two more waves to go. One more boss wave and then the ankylosaur wave to wrap it all up. Uh, so this is going to be... Boop. Oh, no, I should have waited. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, mama should not have waited now. Oh, this is getting bad. Boop, 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 boop. Things are getting ugly. They're getting foggly lads i don't like it one bit can i please kill this oh no 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 uh please soften them up a little bit oh there we go we got that one at least uh hopefully we'll be able to do the finishing blow on this nope no finishing blow there of course let's just go to the pistol here i will use the last like two shots this thing has on this ankle sore that's about to be coming and uh, then we'll just play a little bit of ring around the rosy with this guy and we should be nope not able to outrun him, but I just want these guys in their electric shockers to do the finishing touches and wrap that up. And there we are, 80% complete on the fuse box. And the closer and closer we get, let's see what these guys are dropping for us. They got a cook hammer. All right, that's that's great. I, I don't really need a hammer, but sure thing. It's hammer type. Ooh, a little bit of an og always goes along. Ooh, a little bit of a deagle. Okay, okay, some clothes too. I, I enjoy clothes. No pantalons, of course, as is tradition. Uh, and yeah, no pantalons there, but still, all in all, got a solid little trophy haul here. Got some guns to boot. Couple of loot. Nah, uh, we got a lot of fangs though. Dude, we really got to start making some trades when it comes down to it. But uh, with that said, with that done, thank you kindly for the help, boys and girls. Those electric shockers should last them until next time. And this shotgun should last us till next time as well, along with maybe a couple of extra weapons or something along those lines that will, uh, we might need to bring out like one more weapon, but not even from the inbox, back from home should be fine. But with our responsibilities at the wall done with the 1.2 hype, rolling, rolling, rolling. God, I can't wait, dude. Some of that stuff, uh, uh, there's just so many possibilities what it could be. And uh, I don't know, the fact that they posted a news update, I'm hopefully, dude, I'm telling you, hopefully within this next week, let's bank out. I'm not banking on it, 
but I'm hoping for it. And I hope that you guys are hoping for it with me as well. But right now, let's hope for some dubs, some W's over here in Mad Dogs Arena, the fabled arena where pain and suffering comes to us a little bit, a little bit too much as of late. Probably got to get some food up in our system too. Let's eat that. I'll make sure we're at full health before we enter. And Weaver, my body. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the free thing. <gasps> and pantalos. Oh, I appreciate you more than you could ever know, Weaver. But we got four dog tags. Let's not delay. Let's dive straight into this puppy and uh, see what type of damage we can do. And across your fingers, cross your eyes, cross all that you got. Because we need all the luck that we can possibly get with how bad <laughs> our luck gets in the Battle Royale Arena, man. Mad Dog's Arena is uh, is definitely a struggle. Ooh, speaking of that, I wonder if the Mad Dog faction, because I always thought Mad Dog was a person. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure Mad Dog's like the faction of like crazy people. Because there's like Mad Dog's Arena, Mad Dog's Farm. Like I've never actually met Mad Dog and Mad Dog's like a possessive noun, you know, like a plural possessive. Uh, so it's kind of, let's also make sure that we're equipping some stuff here. We got a gun to start too, that's pretty nice. But I think that means that mad dogs are like, a, not a species, but like a group of people. You know what I mean? So I wonder if the mad dogs have anything to do with this kind of like horror oriented thing. Because like we had the spooky nighttime raid of their farm, you know, like they, they've definitely had spooky things happen with them before. I thought I heard footsteps. Oh, I don't hear footsteps, but I see a guy trying to get murked. Thank you kindly for coming. I That guy literally dropped nothing, dude. Are you serious right now? He dropped nada. Uh, let's definitely equip this thing. Perfect early game shoddy there. Uh, also got some pantalons. Not as good as those pantalons. We have to move over there. Lots of houses for us to loop. Boop, 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 boop. Please die a little bit faster. Akali, I don't have any meds. Please, hey, we got a level up in the middle of the arena. Let's go. Nothing better than some good fortune and a lucky level up. Ooh, and some pantalons when need be. Uh, all right, we got some food at least. So that's nice. Put that in there. Make sure we don't get the run up. We got a nice hats there. Definitely equip that. All right, we're, we're looking pretty okay. Although I'm kind of tempted. Oh, okay, you got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you guys shoot each other, please, instead? There you go. Thank you for helping me out, man. Warlord. But you got to go too, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can someone have band-aids, please? I would appreciate the bejesus out of you. Because as is, there are no band-aids in Starland. Let me just say, we might need to switch over to a more powerful weapon if we're not looking low on meds. We got to kill people quick. Uh, what's a powerful weapon? We don't really have any powerful weapons! Uh, we might not even kill this guy before he kills us! Ooh, please? Please? Nope. Not at all. Alright, dude. It's gonna be the hide-and-seek type of game today. Uh, unless this has meds. Oh! <gasps> A little bit of food. <laughs> Gotta get what you can, man. We're scrounging for survival. The AK is pretty powerful, though. So that's the good news. We are in the top six. Unless we get more meds, I do not like our odds. Oh, please! Ooh, still no meds. God dang it, Bobby. Oh, no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Which one's more powerful, this or that? Okay, AK, 100%. Let's have that equipped. We just gotta kill people instantly, man. That's our only hope. There's no other way to heal. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. And I don't see- Oh, bless! Ooh, why is no one have band-aids? This is awful. I'm gonna keep hiding, though, until, like, the absolute last second here. Still got, like, 20 seconds before the zone there. Oh, no, it is currently narrowing. All right, well, hopefully- oh, We gotta get our buns over to the next- a little grass area, because if we don't, dude, we're 100% gonna get shot right as we're entering it. Calling it, calling it. Hiya, 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 hiya. Oh, bliss, bliss, bliss. Oh, we're 100% dead. Dang it. Dang it. They were two dudes. Easily almost had the one dude. That's what I'm saying, man. Our luck in the Battle Royale Arena might be the worstest luck in the entire existence of universes, parallel and beyond. Okay, I right, just some Buzz Lightyear and beyond because like, how are you gonna do me like that? Not a single medical supply. I got food. I had to use food as medical supplies and a level up. And you tease me. You let me get to the top four, but oh no, you can't. Lie. You lied. You can't have me. Can't have me in the top three. There, it's a little bit too far. Apparently, dear God, man. I that's <laughs> that's why if your luck's bad, dude. I'm sorry. Like even 
any battle royale game besides this battle royale game mode, you will at least find some band-aids. Okay, like, uh, not today, not today. Let me say, not today, and then watch this time. You know what it's gonna be? This time we're not gonna be able to find, uh, I, I don't know, dude. We're finding armor, we got a gun, so we're doing okay. So it's gonna, if it's medical supplies again, I swear to God, man. I don't want that happening, that's no bueno, man. How are you gonna do me, oh, there's a doorway here. That's nifty. Uh, oh, we got an extra gun though, that's kinda nice. Do we need a shirt? Uh, these shirts are literally the exact same quality, so it doesn't matter. I kind of want to save that up for the end game. Ooh, get out of here, Python. You gotta roll. You gotta go. Medical supply? Nope. Uh, I think it's gonna be another day where there's no medical supplies coming our way. Uh, <laughs> the no medical supply challenge. God freaking dang it, dude. How are you gonna do me? All right, we just gotta start using the OP weapon. Ow, ow, ow. We gotta start using the OP weapons. Bless, dude. I'm gonna use that right now. But like I was saying before I was interrupted, we just gotta use the OP weapons as soon as possible to minimize the damage that we take. I like saving OP weapons for late game, but obviously that's not a luxury we can use when there are no band-aids to keep us safe. You know what I mean? Also, definitely want the best armor on. It just sucks. You know, it really sucks because weapon durability is like a huge... Oh, oh, oh. All right, if we really want some good... Okay, where are you going, man? Oh, you're running up on this other guy, are you? All right, that's number one. That's number two. And of course, no one here is banned. <gasps> Bless up to you, buddy. You are a saint and a hero. I don't know if any of these guys had backpacks. I'm not really paying attention to backpacks. My eyes are like very focused right now on trying to get the stupid thing known as... Uh, Whatchamacall. Ooh. I like this, though. 100%. Uh, let's definitely get rid of that shirt. Not gonna be in that. Oh, get out of here, dude. Jesus, this thing beams people. And he only had a vector, too, but still. Hot diggity dog. R.I.P. to you, homie. Why don't we just go hiding? Honestly, I it, it might be time for us to go into hiding mode. We should have one more kill left in the scar. Let's just uh, hope for the best. All right, let's definitely get into good. Ooh. Oh, didn't see you coming there, buddy. Oh, goodbye to you, though. Thanks for keeping on running. Uh, let's definitely get rid of that extra shirt there. And all right, uh, we could probably eat up some of that food. Get up to full. Definitely want to equip. Dude, this alum, this thing is going to do work. Honestly, this has enough durability to take out the rest of the people here. I'll see you later. <laughs> That's not even fair. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's not fair. Uh, really quick, let's use that last band-aid. Uh, let's uh, definitely equip that. Get those two guns. Oh, I thought I saw someone coming. Ooh, get those two. Let's hide in a bush and I'll just get ready to mow people down because uh, we have the biggest machine gun in the game. AKA, people should fear us because <laughs> I like what I see. See you later, babe. I don't care what you shoot me with. It ain't going to be enough to put a stop to my shenanigans. All right. Very good, very good. We got definitely enough in here. Uh, I like how my dude walks like this, and he's still technically crouching! Goodbye to you! Hello! It's a first place coming straight to my face. Bless up for that, man! We weren't finding a lot of medical supplies, but we did get really lucky. Uh, if it wasn't for us literally getting one of the best guns, if not the debatably the best gun in the game, I don't know, man. They also got to fix this where if you exit the arena, you get full health and stuff, you know? I, I don't know. I think that's a little bit cheeky, but let's open this puppy up. Let's see if we get lucky and maybe get a barrette or some nice armor coming on. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, let's at least open up the consolation prize. Maybe get some like duct tape. We are a little bit short on duct tape. Nope. We got wires. I mean, hey, wires are useful too. But uh, with that said, with that, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Jurassic Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. I hope that you guys did enjoy. I hope that you are enjoying the new update 1.1.6 and its many bug fixes. I, I didn't think it was many. I think they said they fixed a few bugs. But still, I hope that you guys are enjoying a less buggy Jurassic Survival. And I hope that you guys are getting the hype hats on. And you got your hype tickets all aboard the hype train. Because I'm the conductor. And 1.2 is looking hype AF. Yeah, can't wait to see what you guys say in the comment section down below. But that's what we're going to do for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. There's nothing but the most favorite fantastic day in the world. And I'll talk to you in the next one.
See ya.